Hello, friends. Welcome back to Wasteland 3. And we are investigating the bazaar. Thank you. All right. Well, we had a little, uh, had a little interruption there. And we're going to continue checking out the bazaar. Long John, huh? For all that it might be swaddled in dirty, mismatched fabric, this cl figure is clearly anything but human. At your approach, it straightens with a creak of rusted gears and presses a palm to the Nixon mask over its face. Yeah. No, nah, dude, you're not sus. Not at all. No, 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 you're not sus. As I live and eat cherry pie, more of my fellow humans in the bazaar. You make yourself welcome now, you hear? He scratches behind his mask, plastic ear. His shirt shifts to reveal a coil device on his chest, an impressive-looking piece of fellow. tech. Humans? Okay, so why are you trying to pretend you're not a synth? Me? A synth? Aren't you adorable? Because I'm it's pretty obvious. In muscle, just like you, Rangers. Shucks, I even have dreams all the time. Technicolor dreams about flying and standing naked in front of people I don't quite know. Synths don't do that. Okay. Yeah, we still think I'm you're a synth. Not a synth. Why, wow, just last night I had the most human dream. I was back in high school. There was a trigonometry test. I sat down confident and brash, only to realize I completely forgot to study. I also enjoy toasted eggs in the morning. A very human thing. Okay, um, tell us about yourself. Well, gosh, and apple pies, you put me in a spot. Let's see. My name is Long John, and I'm old as dirt. I've traveled a little, but nowhere interesting. Now I'm here in the bazaar, just to see what life has to offer. Make friends. Wasn't something that I got to do when I was younger, what with my job and all. There was no time to make friends, none at all. But I'm making up for it. I know everyone in the bazaar, and they know me. Okay. Um, everyone can tell it's a oh, mess, right? You kids and your humor. If the folk in the bazaar really thought I was a synth, would they have tried to decommission me? Not that I'm afraid of such things. Being the perfectly ordinary human male that I am. <laughs> yeah. All right, fine. I am a synth, but you can't tell anyone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody knows. Uh, no, we're not going to go. Everyone in the bazaar they? already knows. <laughs> I'm not sure I believe that. If they knew, wouldn't they have melted me down to scrap by now? People don't like sense, as far as I've seen. You're clever ones, and bully to you for figuring out who I am. But let's not talk about it again, okay? The topic puts me on edge. All right. Um, can you tell us anything about some the bazaar? Some of it is real private, and some of it probably should be. But you young whippersnappers tell everyone everything. He taps the side of his bulbous plastic like nose. Paradolia Jones? He's probably the best damn caravan master in the bazaar. But his business would be better if he knew how to keep his mouth shut. Between you and me, if I was afraid of ducks, I wouldn't tell a soul. Oh. All right, let's get out so of here. soon? I suppose even good things gotta end sometime. You be safe now, you hear? And come back to see old Long John when you can. Best of luck to you. All right. So oh, that's uh, Flab over there. We got armor here. And, uh, where was? Oh yeah, here we go. Sanctified word spreads that your actions saved the bazaar. Or at least brought us some measure of peace once more. Our gratitude is yours. Cool, cool. Uh, 
Certainly. Let's look at set stuff for sale. All right, we got a lot of stuff here. SWAT rifle. Definitely better than the waste rifle. Let's see, what else? Now, this is the stuff that we sold. Maison cannon. Shock mace. Pulse rifle. Saw blade cestus. A flare. Rocket. All right. So this one's 21 to 25 times 3. And where's the other one is 16 to 21. So let's just buy this one. And then ice. We need six sniper rifles for this. And that's definitely the highest one we've got. Yeah. Let's buy that one. Yeah, this is better than the dental pick, but not much. So I don't know that this is worth buying. So we're going to sit that one out. Venom. Um... Uh, we were looking at shotguns here. The Spaz 12, much better here. Autovolver. Now you need six small arms for this one. What about Lucia? Yeah, it looks good to me. Phase Blaster Revolver. Do we want to go with energy style weapons though? We got laser turrets, pocket saw pups. Nice weapon mods though. But oof. We don't really have the big uh Big weapon modding skills here. We got uh, brawling, kiss ass, mechanics, explosives, hard ass, and that's everything, right? Yeah. So we definitely need to boost our modding abilities, that's for sure. What about ammo? Let's take a look at ammo here. Uh, let's see. Anything we're really low on? Yeah, 38 we're pretty low on. So let's get all of the 38 ammo. Shotgun shells. 66 should be good. So 50 cal ammo. We have only have 76, but we're low on 30 out 6. Uh. Let's buy all of it. What does the red dragon use? We want to make sure that we don't buy it and then can't use it. So we need 5.56. Five, this is 30 odd 6. So this is 50 cal. And then uh, 45. Got a good amount of 9mm. 45 we're a little low on, actually. Let's go buy a bunch of that. And I think we're good. Uh, 5.56. Five, no, 5.56 five, five, we're low. So we'll get a little more 5.56 five, five, also. Looks good. Uh, rockets, we're not really using that much. But I think we can stand where we're at. So his skills, he's at Sniper 5, so it's one more. So his next level, he'll be able to use it. That's fine. And let's get one more Strength here. 
No, no, no. We're going to go one more intelligence. That way we can get the extra skill points. And then we can go, we can actually go up to big guns, expo extra explosives. This could be good. Yeah. Let's level up explosives here. Head over to Venom. Let's go with coordination now. We'll take that. And then... Hmm. Is it toaster repair? Small arms? Small arm six would be a pretty good spot for us. But I think we can go with the weird science. And let's confirm that. Let's ch now we have new weapons, so she's going to get the auto volver. Quan is getting the M1989A1. And then we had uh, the Spaz 12 here. I'm going to give Quan the cross boom also, just, just because. Now, we had nothing here that was worth upgrading. Uh, it's 99 to 135, and this is, yeah, this is actually a lot better. So we'll get the army machine gun here. She's still really good. I mean, th these are both, you know, fantastic weapons. And then we were going, yeah, the red dragon, so much better. So critical chance minus 15 strike. So we won't gain any strike points using this. No, it's, and we're going to lose hit chance. I, th and, but we're super close to a level. So I think we're going to wait. Now there was a sanctified with hello again, strangers. Uh, show us what you got. Certainly. Come on. Um, there was an energy sniper rifle. Pretty sure I saw. Ah, yeah, here we go. The Argon. Oh, no, it's a heavy machine gun. Okay. Just want to double check it. I thought. Thought I saw it. Must have misread it. Okay. Guns sanctified with blood. The guy in charge. I hear they call We're gonna check out uh, Quinn Talbot over here. A reek of tobacco and tannin surrounds this wizened, dark-skinned woman. Without breaking eye contact, she swaps her chewed-down cigarette stub for a fresh one and lights Hello, it before she speaks. Customers, welcome to Talbot's Tannery. For all your protective and outfit needs. All right, you're Talbot. Rather than answer, she takes a long drag of her cigarette. Your question does not seem to have impressed her. Uh, let's see. Can we see your wares? That's why I'm here. All right. So we've got tactical armor, trooper armor, tank armor, some mods, uh, sensory shroud, uh, personnel drive. Well, that's not bad. Not bad. Phase temper controller. Headgear platform. Accelerator skeleton. Interest interesting stuff. Polyxylene barrier. All right. So, yeah, you can't use that. You can. So we're going to go with uh, the tank gear. Currently got legs. And you've currently got 
rad tech that's just the same, but it might be modded also. These require five strength. All right, so we've got less evasion, same. This really isn't as good. Uh, Mr. Quan, you don't have the five strength or the six strength. That's all modded up. Get an extra crit chance, which might be nice. So this is just flat out better than what Lucia has. All right, so she's got modded up trooper legs, which are going to be better. What about our girl here? All right. So let's take a look. Oh, she's got the scrap stuff. So that's really what she's looking at here. Oh, this is much better. Yeah, the trooper helmet's better here. Let's just buy up the armor. Tactical Savage, five strength. All right. I think we're probably pretty good. Let's hit up the inventories. So you've got scout pants. Scout armor. The scrap is better here. All right, the trooper is better, so let's go with that. And then the trooper legs are better also. So let's check out our guy here. Uh, definitely the tank armor and the tank helmet. Absolutely an improvement. That, oh, this is the same, but this is unmodded, so we can always mod this yeah trauma plates yeah armor plus six there we go let's confirm that let's see what we have we can mod this evasion and armor yes please and what can we do with this guy uh armor and crit resistance yep since he's going to be on the front line we want to make sure he's modded up real good uh, same thing with her. So she needs more strength for that stuff. So she's got the Merc leggings. Definitely better. Let's mod these. There we go. And then helmets. Crit chance, crit resistance, but armor and hit chance are going to be up. Let's go with that. Yeah, that looks kind of silly. <laughs> it looks really silly. <laughs> so the mark is up. Mark is this mark is modded, so this is actually pretty good for. Her. So we go here. We go here, and then we've got the trooper legs. All these are, this is all better than everything else. Weapon and armor modding. Let's see, Lucia's doing our weapon modding, right? Yeah, she's our, our weapon modder. And Venom is our armor modder. So let's throw this on here just to make sure. Let's see. We like I like the hard ass there, really. 
So we need some more strength on her to deal with that. All right. Oh, I think we've got everybody with their new guns. Everything's looking good. And let's get out of here. All right. Go ahead and take a picture. It'll last longer. Quarex, what's up oh, wow. with you? Are you rangers? I haven't seen any of you guys since I left. Uh, I mean, in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen any rangers in a while. Really? Uh, I'm Quarex, by the way. This is my cool museum of uh, coolness. Would you like a tour? Yeah, sure. Sure, give us the tour. Really? Uh, okay. This way. Well, well when you're yeah, a man as sexy as Welcome I am, you to Quarex's cabinet of curiosities, <laughs> a collection of the rarest of the. <laughs> well, la, la, it's la. toys and games la, mostly, la. and some mementos, but they're all really cool, I promise. Okay, what do you got? That top hat belonged to Mr. Cynical from Angel Oracle out in L.A., a fellow game aficionado. He lived his life trying to help the little guy, defending them against bullies and end-level bosses. In the end, though, a boss got him. And once was and, a man from and, well, pocket. he didn't make and it. For a I keep his hat around to remind me to be it. honest and decent What's like he was. What's going on here? You're all under arrest. Don't make me pull out my book. This was the There's best a new video sheriff game of sexy ever. Down, Wasteland <laughs> 4. You can choose what color you want the screen to be, red or green. Okay. This is the most sought after gaming accessory ever made. The legendary Mighty Mitt. Okay. I love the Mighty Mitt. It's so bad. This is a genuine megascope. The most advanced well, optical aiming device of its day. A priceless artifact. <laughs> Shame somebody yeah, stuck yeah, it on that yeah. silly old I ray gun, but I'm not going to try to take it off. <laughs> I might break it. Oh, okay. What, once you've been deputized this by is me, a Tarjan the Tenebrous machine. The display case contains an energy weapon that is fitted with a highly sophisticated pre-war scope. It is masterfully crafted and carefully maintained. Do we steal it? Yeah. Why not? This is a surfboard. I don't know what surf is and what boards have to do with it, but this looks well yeah, loved. I know. It has How property of MF on it. Let's I hope that doesn't mean what I think it does. Here. This is the man okay. you want. Just try and to that's it. Me. Let me know with if you have right. questions. In your ear. Let's see. Computer. Computer. A lovely rendered scene of the Scottish Highlands flickers in 16 pixelated colors on the screen of this computer. A polyphonic chorus of beeps forms into a Gaelic tune as you read the title of the game. The Bard's Tale 4, Barrows Deep. Eh, let's step away. You know, Tarzan, you what's up with you? Inside his glass confinement, Tarzan boasts, bears his rictus grin to the world, and I crack the other throbbing like a flesh wound. There's a conspicuous red button beside the words, press here to receive fortune. Oh, we got Tarzan tokens. Let's use them. Tarzan doesn't move, but something about him feels more alive. You feel a tingle on the back of your neck as a note emerges from the slot below his torso, inscribed with calligraphic lettering. A sight for sore eyes makes the whole world blind. Okay, so, yeah. Cold resistance and penetration. Interesting. So we've got Megascope here. Now we've got an energy sniper rifle. Cool. We've got a throne. Broken slicer droid. The robot slumps in place, eaten by rust, almost lifeless, save for the faint pinpoint glow of its pupils. Let's try to fix the robot. Let's see. For a moment, the machine comes to a mockery of staggering life, hissing rusted pistons creaking within its carapace. Then it sags back on its pedestal, clearly beyond salvaging. However, it did shift slightly, allowing you a closer look at its parts. Uh, learn what you can from the carapace. An inscription on the back of the robot reveals the serial number and pl place of origin. This slicer dicer came all the way from Arizona. You also find somewhere scratched into the robot's chassis, possibly by one of its own blades. Cochise is dead. I am free. 
Inspect the legs. The limbs are a madness of gunshot wounds and blunt trauma. Evidence, perhaps, of encounters with raiders and whatever else haunts the wastelands. Hey, you functional? It clacks in reply in uneven staccato noise, its head twitching like a clockwork bird that has forgotten the trick of realism. A hiss of black smoke unravels from the paneling of its throat. Kick it! The machine scissors forward at the blow, sudden and savage, shoulders rolling. Somewhere in the circuitry of its brain, it probably still believes it has arms and blades. Yeah, I guess you're done. You're done, dude! Ooh, storage unit 105 key. Quarex tape. And a dream vac... Eh, that's junk. Made it past Telluride today. Found a guy there who sold me some rat jerky. There's a caravan heading for Boulder, and I'm going to try to tag along. Colorado's cold and kind of scary, but there's treasure here, too. That guy with the rat jerky, he had like six or seven 3DO cartridges just lying around his shack. When I asked him how much for the set, he looked at me like I was crazy. Practically gave them away. You know what? Leaving Arizona might be the best thing that ever happened to me. Now, who are these beauties in my theater? Come, come to Adelon. All right, let's see what you got to say. This woman's shocking purple hair and ridiculously voluptuous form make her stand out from the average wastelander. She looks like she dropped in from a different time and place. Hey there, Eidolon. You look better every time I see you. How's show business? Does Quan know ah, everybody Marshall on the Quan, uh, as charming as ever? Dark and side. Your most beautiful friends to Adelon's Chick Flicks Theater. I see. Aren't you all a sight for sore eyes, honey lips? Uh, let's see. You show movies here. Movies? Oh no, sweetheart. We deal in real flesh and blood shows. Ah, uh, sugar plums. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, I'm so happy you walked into mine. You look like strapping. Somebody's seen a few blocks. old movies. Wouldn't you love to help out our little Adelon? Uh, let's see. Uh, what can we do to help? Oh, my heroes. So here's the rub. Yeah, I bet you're all about the that. The Flicks theater shows only the finest, most exclusive performances. Mm -hmm. But we are running low on material. <laughs> I'd ask if you were volunteering to be my next star, but we all know I couldn't afford your gorgeous asses. I suppose the next best thing would be getting me some fresh material. Oh, I see. Uh, there's pay involved In right any currency you want baby monetary and otherwise <laughs> trust me all right where I would we get where it? to find some old movie reels we've got good tech in here so between some creative editing and a little bit of improvisation i can produce our next masterpiece i see uh, all right we're in so it's easy as a slice of apple pie. The monster army used to live in a pre-war luxury bunker. Apparently their monster outfits were inspired by the movies they watched in there. Okay. The bunker has been abandoned for years and years. So it should be simple. And hey, I know any resistance you meet won't be a problem for such beautiful and powerful people. Good She's laying it on thick. All right. Uh, do we want to? Nah, we're not going to ask you any questions. Goodbye. I'm back again soon. Those oh, asses. That we oh, laser you pistol. All right. Let's see. What, what do we got going on here? We need. We still need a personnel. Oh, the mechanics. That's who we needed. Uh, unwelcome guests. We got to talk to Mama Cotter. And then. Let's see. Oh, we got to see Rosie Wong again. All right. And the secret prison under Broadmoor Heights. Now we still got to go to Denver. All right. So let's, uh, let's get, get out of here. Guns sanctified with blood and, um, sanctified by guns. Back to Colorado. 
Uh, can we get everybody over here, please? Oh, shit. Don't make Check eye contact. Guns. 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 Sanctified with blood. Guns. Sanctified with blood. Make sure blood. everybody's reloaded here. Alright, everybody's reloaded. Let's go! Alright. Oh, I think we're back to Colorado. And I think we could either go up to Denver and check that out. Or we can go up to Colorado Springs. I think what we're going to do is go up to Colorado Springs first. Because we have a few things that we need to do there. So let's head on back to Colorado Springs. And then we can find out what Angela Death was talking about with the prison underneath the statue. And we can talk to Mama Cotter and find out what's up with that. Rangers, this is Ananda Robindranath. You left in quite the hurry and forgot to speak to me. But I will forgive you this lack of courtesy. As we discussed, now that the bazaar is at peace, I am free to join your esteemed organization. I shall head to your headquarters anon. Okay, so we got this guy going on. All right, which way are we going? We gotta find Colorado Springs. What's this? This looks like it might be something. It also looks like it might be nothing. All right, so we skip that. Mr. Fun Times here with another strangling yarn. <laughs> this one about an astute student who learned how to love to kill. Once there was a little boy who loved having pets. Oh, yes, cats, dogs, squirrels, badgers. He loved them all. And he especially loved them in a nice big stew with a sprig of thyme. It wasn't until the boy met little Annie that he began to develop other interests. He began to ply little Annie with gifts, trinkets, and tidbits from scrapyards wrapped in animal furs. Soon, little Annie came to love the boy and agreed to see him away from the adults. Thus, that little boy had finally lured his first human victim into his snare, his first trophy for his box of many knives. <laughs> Okay, that's like super creepy. Your radio, cl radio crackles to life with a mild buzz of static. What do you want to do? Uh, never mind. All right, so let's go downtown Colorado. Uh, that's where we're going to find Mama Cotter. And we found her in, I think it was the Market Square area. I know, know we've seen, I'm pretty sure we've seen her at some point before. Right, yep, there we go. Hey, Mama Cotter. Grizzled and gnarled as an old oak tree, the round little woman scowls at you from under her scarf. Eyes invisible in a face that has more wrinkles than skin. Do you want from Mama Cotter? Uh, let's see, we met some refugees at the bazaar. They said you hired smugglers to sneak them into Colorado Springs. She scrapes at a yellowed tooth with Maybe a dirt so. encrusted nail. Where are those refugees now? Uh, let's see. They're on their way here. Let's see. Alive and well, no thanks to you. The smugglers stole their money and locked them in a cell. They're on their way here. We bought them passage on a caravan. <laughs> Law keepers with a conscience? Well, shit. I wouldn't have guessed it. <laughs> nah, I owe you for keeping those refugees safe. Ain't nobody else around here who's willing to lift a finger for them. So, uh, what's it gonna be, hmm? You know I was breaking the city's law, conspiring with smugglers and all that. You gonna haul me in? She'll be safe in the ranger lockup. Reyes would want her in jail. He's a powerful man to have as a friend. And the rangers could use some powerful friends. Ooh. Well, am I under arrest? Let's see. Not this time. No more smuggling refugees. No one on your side 
Keep helping the refugees and we'll look the other way. Afraid so, we're taking you into custody. Hmm. Now, from what Reyes was saying, there may be some kind of showdown with the Patriarch, and we might be able to get them to help us out. We also might be standing on our own. Oh, and but you know what? She wasn't really looking after him too well. Yeah, we're going to arrest oh, her. Oh, no, you ain't. You'll have to go through us first. Mama's son clenched their fists and reached for Stand weapons. Stand down, Bobby. These are the same folks who shot up the door season the Garden of the Gods. They must have killed Stenerud and his smugglers, too. Yeah, she knew about it. a chance against them. This ain't worth the lives of my boys. I'll go quietly. All right. Let's Copy bring her in. One. This is Ranger HQ. What's your status? Now, let's see. We've placed Mama Cotter under arrest, sent a squad to pick her up. Or have the marsh? No, we're gonna we're gonna Old keep her Mama ourselves. Cutter. A criminal? <laughs> Who would have thought? Dispatching a squad over and out. All right, now let's go see uh, Gideon. Uh, let's check the map, and we want to go over here to Broadmoor Heights. Traveling busker. No, it's not Eva here. Ah, here it is. All right, let's go see Gideon. And if I don't like what he says, we're going to sick the wolf on him. No problem. I'll have to see uh, how all this stuff works out as far as, you know, what these choices Welcome mean down the, the right lines. Side of the tracks. Who are you people? Mercenaries? I heard Mr. Howe found himself a pretty blonde thing. Really? And what did uh, his wife... I heard you were speaking to some people at the refugee camp. Do you have any news? All right, the smugglers were working with a woman named Mama Cotter. We arrested Thank her. You. I'm glad this ended bloodlessly. You handled an impossible situation well, Rangers. At least this will give the city some breathing room. Our resources are stretched, but I think we can feed the people who are already here. For now. All right. Uh, glad we could help. As am I for your reward. The money is here. And you may expect the mechanics I promised you to be waiting for you when you return to your headquarters. Also, one other thing. If you have me, I'd be happy to serve the Rangers as a political advisor. Interested. Even, you're quite a remarkable outfit. And I'd like to help you out. Yeah, we could definitely use a political advisor. Excellent. Let me get some things together, then I'll head for your HQ. That's an interesting uh, to what we can accomplish together, Rangers. Thing we can think about. All right. So, coordination, let's max intelligence here. Definitely. Get the extra skill points. Now we're already at 8 or Nine, yeah, eight. But we need the sniper rifles here. And let's check out Valkyrie. Also going to max out intelligence here. Let's check out her skills. Animals first aid. We're going to go two points into hard ass here. Definitely. So what can we get here? Um, first aid, using healing items boosts the target's max con. Mechanics. Yeah, we're going to go with handy. 
And then Marshall Kwan. More coordination. Absolutely. And then um, Sneaky Shit. And then he's got a perk too. So this is submachine guns, submachine guns, submachine guns. And we're going to go with armor. Yeah, extra armor for Quan. Sounds good to me. All right, now we got to find a big statue of the big guy. There is the statue of the patriarch. Is it down here? Ah, here it is. All right, let's let them path it around over here. And oh, we have to. We need to. We can switch up with the better sniper rifle now. There we go. All right, everybody is set up with the proper weapons. Let's check out the statue. The plaque reads, As the leaders of the hundred families look on, Isaiah Buchanan passes the flag of the United States of America to his son, the future patriarch of Colorado, Saul Buchanan, calling upon him to protect and glorify it to the end of his days. Now that you know what to look for, you can see that the plaque is actually a cleverly concealed hatch. There's a tiny pinhole near the top left of the plaque. Let's stick something in there. Ooh. Yep, there is definitely something in there. So let's climb down and find out. All right, what have we got hidden here? Could be some interesting things. These luxury accommodations were custom built by the Prudent Planning Company. Prepare for your future today. All right, so. Agreed. Hydro crew. I still think it needs some work. We're badass mercenaries. We're stationed in the hydroponics bay. What about this name doesn't fit? Hey, I want a cool mercenary group name just as much as everybody. What the hell? How'd you get down here? Now, let's see. We opened a secret door in the big statue where the Desert Rangers were asking questions here. Where's high Ironclad Cordite? Sorry, trade secret. Target's incoming. Let's see. We got... Man, the only one we can hit is... Hmm. What I would really like to do is I need to be able to hit the marksman. And I think we have to move all the way up here for it. Yep. Let's go. Ooh, solid miss. That was a bummer. All right, we're going to move up here and go for ambush. Same thing with venom. Move up. Ambush. Ambush. Quan. 77% here. You're blocked, blocked, out of range. 83% on the saw pup, though. Let's go for this guy. One hit. Lucia. I do believe Lucia wants to go ambush here. We're not getting a shot out here. So let's go here and defend. Oh, that's, I guess we're not defending since we used all of our AP here. And... All right. 
actually, we want to... We can mark this guy. We're going to mark this guy. Acquired. And that gives us precision strike. <laughs> Goodbye. And we're going to defend that. Valkyrie. Seventy-one percent here. Yeah, that works for me. Nice. She can defend. Lucia. Let's move up here. Get a better hit chance. And miss. Wow. Not so good. Yeah, we're gonna move Quan up over here. No, and that's a defend. We can go with this guy. I like this. That's a nice hit. And we can defend this. I think we need to move to this spot here, though, so that we can keep uh, Cobra out of the line of fire. And then we can defend. Let's end the turn here. Ooh, Salpup with the crits. He's going to met himself. Ooh. Well, that was um, interesting. Can she pick up ice? Yes. And then uh, ice is going to go for a heal. We can't hit him, so let's hit this guy. And then let's get over here and defend it. Venom, on the other hand. I'm gonna shoot the saw up here. And then she's gonna come all the way over here and get ready for the next round. Good misses. Let's move up here. Valkyrie definitely going for the Come pickups. On. Follow my example and kick some ass. All right, and she's going to stay right there. Cobra, all the way in. We're going to activate pursuit here. Nice. And we're just going to get right up in his face. And, oh, no dub double taps. Meds. Meds. And end the turn. Wrong move, buddy. So let's get the heals going on here. More heals. Let's see what we got. 
A shattered yeah. shoulder, we can live with that. Quan is internal bleeding. Yeah, this we gotta fix. Where is the injury kit? Right here. All right, let's uh, loot. Okay, junk, junk, junk. Okay, medic pack, nice. Injury kit, very good. What was it? A long time ago, this tank held water for thirsty plants. Machinery. These are some serious electrical generators from a bygone age. Looks like they've been offline for decades. Ah, toolbox. Nice. All right, let's loot it up. Shrink ray. Interesting. 100% chance to apply shrunk. Yeah, that's, uh, that could be fun. All right, anything else? Withered food. Desiccated remains of cabbage, kale, and potato plants rest in hydroponic trays. Oh, he's got chills. No, 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 we can't do that. No, I don't think so. All right, so we got ourselves in the bunker, and I think that's where we're going to stop for now. In the next one, we will find out exactly what's going on here. Uh, who's possibly behind what was going on here and what secrets this bunker might hold. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget the three S's. Smash it, share it, and sub it. Smash that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.